Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait. Probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. I'm Gianna Parasini, Noveria Internal Affairs. You screwed over my corruption investigation of Administrator Analeas. I was worried about bigger problems at the time. Saren was trying to destroy the galaxy. No kidding. And using our labs for his experiments. Man, we caught some heat over that one. Anyway, I eventually got Analeas fired for screwing an Asari tax inspector, so it worked out. Have a seat. You can buy me a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer.
I'll take it. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course, I can help you with the concepts and figure out what options work for you. Tired of training employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps a denture tech can help. It's okay, I'll think of something. You said Synthetic Insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? I need you to let that slave go, now. We prefer the term indentured servant, and I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. So then he says... Can I help you with something? How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring Miss Corian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the Quarian and garnish wages for reimbursement. Interesting. We look good for hiring a Quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This Quarian had better be good, though. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going. The Asari are how advanced? And this is what they do with it? Money is still pa- Welcome to Eternity. I am Athita, Asari Matriarch and Bartender. What can I get you? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarch served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know, not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, 
when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping arachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about his getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that Asari wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Mendwar, Eden Prime, Pharos. It's been like that forever. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pureblood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. It does nasty things to your insides. One saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. What's it like being an Asari matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Thanks for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a vid or something. Oh, that's sweet, but it's... Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, free of trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Commander Shepard, Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander.
Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship. Or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara.
Detroit's assassin While Ilium News did credit the increase. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. You're sure, Gateway Weapon? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan's reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him, he's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's hard. No, she won't even talk to me. I... Your shepherd? I don't know if you remember me. I was a colonist at Zeus Hope on Pharos. You saved us from that enormous geth attack and from the Thorian creature's control. Too many people died in the fighting for us to save the colony. It's still better than being a slave to the Thorian, though. Where did the survivors go after Zeus Hope shut down? Most of us stayed together and went back to Earth. Run down, but familiar. We needed familiar faces. Exogeny pretty much left us alone. They just left with every bit of Thorian goop they could find. What brings you to Ilium? We've had health trouble. Probably because of how the Thorian controlled us. We got a deal on some medical tests from a colonial survey group. But the contract had fine print that lets them perform more invasive procedures without our consent. I've talked to the representative, but she won't listen. I think she has a problem with humans. I'll talk to the survey group. Really? Thanks. The sales rep is at the Baria Frontiers kiosk.
I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests, something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinia. I just received the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. I don't know what we would have done without you. You know Arinia won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. And Eclipse girls never lack for, uh, company. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. My genetic stats are average and my clan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'll need money. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. 
If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's... You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. Pure bloods are a waste of genetic potential. That's how we get throwbacks like the Ardat Yakshi. Hey, I don't like pure bloods either, but that's going a little far. They should be prohibited from breeding. What was your father again? Salarian. Oh. So. I'm on a call. 